Well, welcome to the uh, Fifth Dimensional Academy of Higher Consciousness. I'm broadcasting from Los Angeles and Zarathustra. So what we're going to do right now is we're just going to do a simple meditation, simply bring your attention inwards and you focus and you look for where your thoughts come from. You bring your attention to the source of yourself, not what you're thinking or what you are feeling. Uh, rather than that is where do they really come from before your thoughts arrive the right arise where were they so look for the source of your thoughts and you just simply close your eyes and you bring your attention inwards to that point and and then you will see what happens Yeah, just gently take a deep breath. Bring your attention inwards. Bring your attention to the source of your thoughts, your emotions. Without really trying hard to do anything. You're simply keeping your attention on one point.
Slowly, slowly come back. So that's a nice way to start by diving into silence. The more you learn to be quiet, the more you begin to see uh, the magic and the power of silence. The more it begins to penetrate in every aspect of your life. So it's completely different than everything we've been taught to from childhood and we read or we our belief system because uh, most of us you know, as we're growing up, maybe you're exposed to a religious life, you know, you're taken to the church, and um, then we get exposed to religion, and, uh, and of course, it's immediately religion is connected with shame and guilt. So, you're already guilty, you should be ashamed of yourself, of doing this and that. So, Somehow, right in the beginning, we are connecting the divine being, our connection with God. Uh, we start to be brainwashed that it has to do with shame and guilt and do's and don'ts. So it's just, it's the wrong start to begin with. And then it spirals from there. It just gets worse and worse as you go forward. So, and then we're being fed with a lot of bunch of nonsense and uh, which is all BS. It's blah, blah, blah. And it doesn't really do anything for you. And it doesn't help. And then we just keep going, you know, with our lives. And this cycle keeps repeating itself over and over again. And we're kind of like unconsciously feeding the stuff that we picked up from our parents or our society, now we're feeding it to our kids. So, and we don't even know what we're doing, but it's the same, same thing, you know, which uh, relates divinity to shame and guilt. And, um, and so, this kind of perpetuates on itself and then it keeps going that way. So, especially if you come to the area of your own sexuality, then it gets worse because now you have an added amount of more shame and guilt to it. So, uh, anyway, but <clears throat> some of us, you know, we're lucky and we come across the message. We come across this message, which is about being quiet, being silent, which is about um, diverting your attention inwards, going inside and looking for the source of the thoughts, looking for the source, the origination of the emotions and the feelings. Where do they come from? Where, 
from what moment I begin to notice them. And then they become important to me. But before I notice them, uh, was it important to me? The thoughts that I have. So as you go inwards and you're kind of slowly start to reject ideas and concepts of any kind of spirituality, any kind of story that uh, being in a spiritual world, it means this, I need to do that, um, I need to be good, I need to, because a lot of it has to do with being righteous, uh, morality, um, I need to eat certain way in a certain way, I need to look in a certain way, I have to have a certain kind of a behavior. So, so we're getting programmed with these kind of things. Then there is a lot of different information out there, which a lot of misinformation that drags you into the world of the mind. It takes you more deeper into the world of the thoughts by teaching you things and playing with your desires, kind of luring you in into this thing. Just one moment, there's a helicopter going above. Just one moment. Like there's a big movement in the spiritual world right now, a huge movement. Um, that it's encouraging you and is playing with your desires. And what it does is it tells you like, okay, if you want to manifest, um, you can get everything you always wanted. You can find your partner, you can find love, you can find uh prosperity you can you can start making a lot of money uh you can accomplish all the things you want to accomplish come to me and sign up for me and come and take my course and i'm giving you going to give you the five points that you need to live a very prosperous life and to attract everything that uh you ever wanted in your life <clears throat> it is a very uh, attractive offer and there's all kinds of different courses and uh, spirit, uh, schools of spiritualities that's offering that to you with different kind of names and looks and techniques and workshops and blah 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 <clears throat> but it's it all requires you using your mind you have to use your mind for it. So you have to get engaged with your thinking process. And using your thoughts, your mind, your desires to create this. So now you're back into the loop of the world of thoughts. You're not out of it. It sucks you back into it. And it's going to set you up for another round, for another round of suffering. Because suffering cannot happen if you're in silence. If your mind is quiet and you have come to complete silence, then suffering doesn't happen. There is no agitation. There is no I thought. There is no you. There is no a false identity to an imaginary person that thinks she's suffering, that he's suffering. Because the mind is quiet. You're here, you're in silence, you're quiet. And when you're here and you're quiet, you don't have any desires. There's, there's nothing and nowhere you need to go to nothing you need to get, nothing is missing. So you don't have to fill up this, this hole. 
that you think there is something missing. You're here and you're quiet. So there is no voice there telling you that I don't have a partner, I'm getting older, I'm going to be living the rest of my life alone, and da 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 da. Or I haven't fulfilled my dreams in this life, and blah 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 blah. There's no voice saying these kind of things to you. Because you're, you're here in this moment and you're just quiet. And when you're here in this moment and you're quiet, all of a sudden you realize some, something has happened. You may not have a word for it in the beginning, but something's happening. Something's filling up the space around you. The space around you gets filled up. And in the beginning, again, you may not have any words for it, but if you stay with it and pay attention, you begin to see that it's full, it's complete. That in here and now, I'm sitting here, and my mind's empty, there's no thoughts. And there is this knowing in this moment without putting any effort, there's a knowing that it's your life is complete. It's very subtle and you have to pay attention to it. So, but then what happens is you forget and a thought comes. A thought comes and says, wow, this was really amazing. And um, I, really, I really like this. I was very quiet. I feel very peaceful. Uh, now, how, what can I do to manipulate this and bring this into a future moment to create something on top of it that I want. That's one thought. Another thought comes and says, well, yeah, you know what, Zaratustra, I felt really amazing. It felt really good, but there's going to be a but. What about this other thing or what about um finding my soulmate what about i do the kind of work i really want to do and i'm not doing it right now okay now a thought has come you were first in this moment and you were complete. There was no story. Everything is fine. You're not suffering. You're, you are in this absolute pure present moment, which is eternal. And nothing's missing in it. But then a thought will come and ruin it and says, what about this or what about that? That means this by itself, it was great, it was amazing, but it's not enough. Now I want something more than this. So it drags you out of here and it takes you somewhere else and now you're hooked again. So you got to pay attention to this, you know, you have to really pay attention. If, I mean, it depends what your priorities are. What is it you really want? 
and based on really what's the ultimate goal and you go you just work towards that what is your ultimate goal you have to really be straightforward and honest with yourself because you know i have people telling me like oh yeah well my ultimate goal is i like to be i like to find inner peace and i want to be I don't want to be in anxiety and nervousness. I just want to be in this place. Okay. Well, if that is your ultimate goal, then this is, this is what you need to do to be quiet and to stay here. But then if your ultimate goal is something else, okay. So you want to be honest about that with yourself and not waste your time. Because that's what it was for me. I ultimately, what I realized on my path was I, I wanted to be happy and I wanted to be at peace with myself because I discovered where the most of the conflict is. Most of the conflict is here in my own mind. Most of the conflict is really inside myself that creates all this dissatisfaction that wherever i am it's not enough and i want something more or it should be something else and so that's where the conflict is so if i can be be okay with being by myself with myself where i am where i am satisfied with this moment when then there is no problem So anybody has any questions, you can raise your hand and I'll unmute you or you're welcome to write on the chat box and we can talk about this or any, any other questions you have regarding anything else. Um, I know we had our, uh, a lot of you were, we were together in Ore in Sweden and we had this 11 days of, um, incredible time together and uh, I don't know if you have any questions regarding our experience that we had together in Sweden if you do just uh, wave at me so oh hi Lynn we get to I get to see you again Welcome back. Me? Yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Yeah. How's it nice going? To you too. You, you, you're in Norway, right? Yes, I'm, I, I live near Stavanger. Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Well, welcome back. Nice to thank see you. you. Yeah, I missed you because you have been away for many things. So, yeah, I haven't I been on any of the webinars or such things. Yeah, I think it's been about three weeks, I believe. Something mm -hmm. like that right yes yeah, and, 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 some, and some of them were cancelled also right yeah yeah <laughs> you yeah exactly well we're going to be uh consistent from now on so yeah i i i like your webinar very well it's very well, simple and uh, nice and i have practices i practice it every day and so and, what is your practice what do you do uh, when, when I feel that my, my thoughts uh, are stressing I concentrate and uh, I'm here okay and, and, and it's it is very amazing because you know there are many things uh, who, who can stress you in uh, in the day and uh, but I observe it every time that something is stressing me and I focus and to be here beautiful and, yeah, it's so, so it's so nice. It's a very good technique. Very happy yeah. to hear that. Yeah. And isn't that amazing that the results are almost instant? Instantly you free yourself. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, yeah, it's very nice. 
exactly. because because you 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 don't you don't feel everything uh, around you you are only here and uh, it, that that's more peaceful <laughs> <laughs> so yeah and I, I enjoy it beautiful i'm happy to hear that yeah, yeah. keep keep doing I, I'm, that. I'm, i have to oh. say that I'm, i am very fascinating of, of this because i have tried uh, different things earlier and uh, and this is the most simple thing it's so easy yes yes but 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 you have uh, but you have to 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 observe it and, and uh, try to do it so yeah uh, you have to be attentive because uh -huh. the nature of the mind uh, first of all the mind has been conditioned mm -hmm. so we got used to just always wandering in different directions being in the past or future and outside of now mm -hmm. so now you're forcing it you're bringing it back to here so in the beginning it's a little bit it wants to run away mm. so it's like you're you're training a horse it's a wild horse and you're starting to train it so it's going to take a little bit of time but as the teaching starts to settle it benefits everybody and uh eventually the mind begins to cooperate because uh, it starts to alleviate the suffering. Mm. So I'm very happy you're here. Thank you for your input. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, hi, hello, Hilde. Welcome, Hilde Flat Fladger. Fladger. Does that from Norway? yeah yeah that's a yeah. norwegian name yeah it's your first yeah. time with us no no okay i have been with uh, in this before yeah well, times. yeah yeah welcome now and then <laughs> okay. welcome back thank you yeah hi trina i i don't see you but i i know you're there Yes, hello. Yeah. How, how are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> yeah, great. Nice having you back. Yes, nice to be here. Yeah. <laughs> cool. And Miss Angelica. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> how are you? I'm well. <laughs> yeah, and I, I was wondering how you're doing. Yes, it's good with me. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, how did it go with that healing with your family, by the way? Uh, yes, that's actually really fun because uh, we have to change a day. Okay. And uh, his wife get the first day on the work, so she make a really good dinner. And my cousin and I were sitting and talking two and a half hour, and I feel all the time how the energy come through me and sending to him. And okay. he was, he feels so good when I leave. So he right. should go to the doctor now and see if they found right. anything. So, so he received a healing by you talking to his wife and not really doing anything. And no, she make a good dinner, and I feel that something started when I came in the in the house. Right. She, she's a nurse, and he, she has to left because she's going to the work the first day for six weeks. Right. <laughs> he had right. vacation, so she leave the house. Right. So okay. he and I was totally alone. And and it just the healing happened effortlessly, right? You weren't. Yes. Really, yeah. Exactly. Immediately it just came through me and sending to him. Beautiful. I'm very so he happy was to excited. Hear. Yeah. See how easy it could be? Yes, I just visited him. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the, the healing energy 
once you're open and you're available and you're not really identified with I am the healer, I'm here to do healing on you, you're not identified with that role, you're just simply there and you're yeah. not trying to prove anything. And then all of a sudden it just comes on its own. Yeah. Yeah. And after that I go to Malung and dance a few nights. <laughs> uh -huh. Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I have sleep a week, I think, now when I came home. Yeah. It feels like that. <laughs> yeah, I've been sleeping a lot too. So Yeah. Yeah. Regenerating. Yes, but was you dancing a was lot of like me? Right. Yeah. Did you dance a lot? I, well, I did. I went to a, uh, a, a couple of events and I danced. Yeah. And it was a lot of fun. Yeah. But I've also been sleeping a lot. So. Yeah, the last week since I came home, I'm just sleep, I feel. Yeah. yeah. Which is great. Sleep, sleep is, is really good. So yeah, rest. but that I can do when I'm dead. <laughs> I want to live too. <laughs> yeah, I hear you. <laughs> well, nice to have you back. Good talking to you. Yeah, same. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Hi Shadi, how's it going? I unmute you. I don't know if I don't think you're connected because I can't hear you. No. Oh yeah. You got it connected. Oh what now? Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay. It's, everything is okay. So a couple of days I feel tired after i arrive so later everything is fine especially Good. since last night from last okay. night. yeah yeah so you feel pretty stable you yeah. feel like, yeah? yeah 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 you feel like you're taken care of uh, yes kind of yes yeah right yeah, it's still going on. I see some some thought comes and goes, like finding right. a job, what I want to do. Right. But yeah, I'm pretty stable for now. Right. Thoughts are always gonna come and go. You know, all kinds of thoughts that will come and go. Sometimes crazy thoughts. Sometimes, you know, different kind of thoughts. It's okay. You know, it's like if you have a dog. Don't you, you can't expect your dog never bark. Right. That's the nature. The nature is to bark. So the same thing with the mind. It's nature is to wander around and keep thinking. So, and um, yeah, you just hear it, but you don't have to pay a lot of attention to it unless there's really something interesting is coming to your attention. You know, it's telling you, oh, you have to pay your house mortgage by tomorrow. Then, you know, you say, okay, you, thank you, and you do it. But most of the time, it's garbage. It's blah, blah, blah. Yeah, exactly. You know? So yeah. It's doing its thing. But you don't really have to pay attention to it. No. Yeah. Yeah, so you're doing good. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you so much, Sarah, to see yeah. you so much. Thank yeah, it was very nice seeing you there. You know, we had 11 days of magic. Yeah, it was very awesome. It was very good. I liked it. I loved it. <laughs> <laughs> we can, I hope we can come back. Yeah. Another it, location, another we'll, we'll do more things. The magic keeps going. And then the ma you take the magic with you wherever you go. Mm -hmm. And um, if you 
do the work, you realize that the same magic you experience in Ore, it, it continues going with you everywhere you go in your life. And uh, the settings change, of course. Over there, we were in this really safe environment and being like a bunch of kids coming together and being very playful and be able to do all the things we like to do and have fun with it. And uh, I understand that. So th it was a different settings. But down deep inside, the magic is within yourself. And it doesn't matter where you go. And wherever you are, once you just come back here inside yourself, it reveals itself to you. It shows itself to you. So um, it's the nature of the mind to associate it that the magic was in that place and now it's there and I don't have it anymore. That's the nature of the mind. And uh, it's a part of the fact that we do create that energy field like Ore, that particular retreat we create that and we come to it and it's such a high vibrational event and it brings us so far up but the idea of it the whole thing is to realize that whatever you're experiencing in this high vibrational place with with the all of these beautiful people is really gonna lead you back inside to where the source of this high energy coming from. Where is the source of it? And, and the source of it is yourself. The entire thing, first we need to go to a place like that to recognize such a freedom that all of a sudden you can be so free and not just physically free, but also free your mind and come in touch with your own spirit, come in touch with your own being and the child within you because the entire experience forces you to be here and now. And that's why we have so much fun together because we come to this place of pure presence of being here. Just one moment, I'm waiting for this plane to pass by. There's a small airport uh, in this area. So in the mornings, there's a bunch of planes flying over. So anyway, um, yeah, the, the experience of Ore is an other experience, other representation in the other world that you come to that energy field, that unified field of oneness and love for it to reflect it back to you that it's really within yourself. And, and that's my main goal for everyone to recognize that, that when Oh, when we leave Ore in Sweden, it, we just didn't leave it. It's not over. The mind would, would want to say, oh, okay, I left this place and now I'm not going to feel blissed out because I'm here. I'm not in this place anymore. And I, I lost it because I'm not there. You, you understand what I'm saying? It's the nature of the mind to say that this freedom, this bliss, this love that I experienced was associated with the location. But that's not it. With the right teaching, when the teaching is correct and it forces you to look within yourself, you begin to realize, if you look, that you never left that love and that blessing and that feeling that, that state, recognition of that state, you did not leave it there. It's coming with you. It came with you in the train, it comes with you in the plane, it comes with you back home. Um, and wherever you go, it's with you. 
it's always there. <laughs> yeah, if you pay attention, if you pay attention, you will see it's there. Now, of course, we travel and then we come back home. You could be very tired. It's going to take time for the body to recover. Uh, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be dips. And the intensity of it may be lower, but the actual, um, the essence cannot be lost. It's not gone. That's why we spend time alone by ourselves and we keep quiet. Because the moment you do that, it, it reappears. You tap back into it and you recognize your own self. You recognize who you really are. The expanded part of you. The part of you when there's no mind and you're quiet and you're here, and it's completely, it, you tap into the infinite and it's complete and it's full. And it has nothing to do with a location. That's the beauty of it. Hi, Marie and Geltek. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Yeah, nice yeah. seeing you. Nice seeing you too. Yeah. Yeah. Are you back in Stockholm? Yeah, I'm okay. back. Uh, and I'm working. Right. Yeah. But I took the blitz with me from what I have. Say that again. I took the blitz with me. So I've got it here. So I feel like I'm in more now. Beautiful. I'm happy to hear that. Thank you. Yeah, I'm happy to hear that. I have a good teacher, you know. Let <laughs> 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 yeah. me see. Uh, Shishi, can you un um, unmute Hilda, please? Even said. Hello, Miss Hilde. Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How's it going? Oh, it's going wonderful, actually. It's like someone has switched uh, a magic button after order because I see the colors so bright and they're so strong. And you know, when you look at the nature, I just see the energy when the straws are moving and everything. So I'm living in a fairy tale. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> I'm happy to hear that. So something has changed in the quality of your vision. Yeah, uh, and I got uh, visions as well, you know. I've been doing some healing work and stuff and some, suddenly I just uh, got the pictures in my head, you know, what is going on and everything. Right. So it's good. I'm happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm just sitting there and okay, I'm, mid, uh, I'm in my life and it looks like this and I feel so blessed, you know, so yeah. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad you were able to make it, my dear sister. So no, thank you. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. So let's see. So Miss Linda, hi Linda. Hello, hi, hi. Hi, mm -hmm. hi nice seeing you again. Yeah, uh, I can tell you a story. Yeah, okay. And one day I was supposed to meet a friend, uh, but my friend said, no, I can't meet you. And I got a bit disappointed. Okay. And then, then another friend was supposed to pick me up and he called me and said, sorry, I have to go to the airport to leave something for my daughter that is traveling. And then I, I got very disappointed. 
And I thought, uh, disappointment is here. Disappointment is visiting me. Oh, and I thought, yeah. okay, I go out for a walk and just, yeah, try to be quiet. Uh, and I came to a road and a man nearly got hit by a bus. Uh, and he got, nothing happened, but he got, re got really scared. But right. it ended it ended up we spent three hours together and we had such a nice time. <laughs> so that's a lot of magic. Yeah, because we were walking the same direction and talking and talking and talking. And then when we stopped, I was supposed to go another direction. And he said, can I invite you for dinner? We go and eat somewhere. And I thought, what the hell? And I said, yes. And <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that was great. Wow. So it, it's I just, amazing, huh? It's I amazing. used that technique. Disappointment is visiting me, and I had the best day. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, thank you for really sharing this because what what normally people do is they go into this funk of getting depressed or getting very negative that life sucks and coming up with all these different stories yeah and, and what you did is basically you turned the poison into medicine yes <laughs> you you see someone taught me what's that someone taught me yeah <laughs> yeah but but well thank you but you, you just see that how incredible it is by simply not being attached to the outcomes that two people canceled on you and you did get a disappointment, but you didn't even get involved with disappointment. You saw it coming and you observed it and you moved on. It didn't touch your, your bliss. It didn't touch your silence. And then magically out of that, another situation was created. Yeah. And it turned to be an incredible experience. I'm very happy to hear that. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. That's really, thank you for sharing it. We all need yeah. to hear that. Yeah. Cause I, <laughs> Cause what? say that again. I'm sorry. I had an amazing day, even though I got canceled two times. <laughs> so, yeah. You know, it shows that, the, uh, that life is infinite and anything at any moment can happen, even, and you have no idea. But when you're not really set on a certain way that things has to be this way and you're open, you're open to life, you're out of the box, and anything can happen at any moment. You have opened the window to the light. Monica, hello. Hello. <laughs> how, how was your drive back home? With it was uh, wonderful. We uh, uh, drive through Dalek. Ka Kalia, Dalarna, okay. and uh, spend uh, a night there before we went back to Stockholm. And the car was fine, no problem. Yes, okay. yes. Now it was mended. Right. <laughs> and the first week when I got home, I got a tremendous energy. So I. Uh, and I was so happy and felt so much love. But this week, the second week, uh, depression is visiting me. Everything. I know to handle it. Beautiful. Great. Yes. Yeah. Um, well, I'm, I'm happy to hear that you have the tools to see it and not get identified with it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's another plus pa passing cloud. Yes. Right. Soon it's going to be gone and yes. you're going to see this blue sky and, and sunshine. 
Oh, yes. And Miss Marit? Hello, hello. Hello. Yeah, can you talk a little bit louder, please? Yeah, I can. Hello there. Yeah, how are you? I'm fine. Ba back in back in the Norge? Yes. Yeah? Back in the summer. Yeah? 24 degrees. What? Oh. We have 24 degrees. Yeah, I bet, you know, I've been checking out the, the uh, weather temperature. Yeah, I can see. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> see, it's 11 o'clock. Okay. Well, let's see. Hi, Anita. Hi. How are you? <laughs> yeah, fine. <laughs> okay. Where, where, where do you live? What country are you in? Yes, I'm from Germany, Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Okay, okay. Yes. Yeah. I watched, I watched all your uh, videos and uh, everything what you've done in R. It was really wonderful. I was a little bit jealous. <laughs> what kind of things uh, is happening there? Right. Yeah. Right. Well, maybe next year you can make it there. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to be in Frankfurt in October. Third of October, I'll be there for 10 days. So, oh. right. And uh, are you friends with Suzanne? Do you know each other? Can you? No. No? Let's uh -huh. see. Hi, Suzanne. Do, do Hi, you know? Zaratustha. Yeah. No, we didn't meet, but maybe you can share my phone number. Yeah, absolutely. If um, can, that would be great. Yeah. yeah. You, don't, you don't see each other right now on on the on your screens, do you? No, no, no. no. Okay. No. First time I saw her. <laughs> okay. Right. Because I I live in the town area, but I work in Frankfurt, and maybe we can have a coffee together. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. That would be lovely. Are you? Because on... I brought the bliss to Frankfurt. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. That's really interesting. <laughs> Yesterday night, I went out with with four colleagues of mine, and we it, it was really hot, but we had so much fun together, and. My experience is also that this kind of bliss or that love is, is spreading to the other people also in the office. Uh -huh. I'm very yeah. happy to hear that. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, exactly. I don't do anything, but it's, exactly. it's uh, working. Yeah, I brought it from Ore. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. And you're right back. You you went back with uh, Boris. You were yes. Yeah. Yeah. We were traveling together, and uh, yeah, it it was a nice day. I mean, we were sitting in Stockholm like for five hours because they were not allowed to fly to Frankfurt because of thunderstorms or what have you. So it was uh, a whole day. Okay. It took us to go back to Frankfurt. Right. So anyway. but you, you were in Stockholm, you were in a city, you probably were uh, in the No, center. we were stuck in the airport. Airport. And a, f okay. a few hours stuck in the airplane. We were sitting there and I mean, for two and a half hours, they didn't mm -hmm. allow us to uh, leave the plane. And oh, it that. was quite challenging. I bet. It's very uncomfortable just staying yes. there for two and a half yeah. hours. I so, hear you. Yeah, it was uh, quite a challenge <laughs> to go back to Frankfurt, but we managed. You survived it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Oh. No, I'm really happy. And I mean, I did start healing work uh, with a few pets. And now also my colleagues from the office, they were lining up and uh, saying, oh, can you do that? And I have that problems so like you said it 
it starts from from the self or from I, I didn't do anything. Beautiful. No. Yeah, you you're just here, you're present, and all of a sudden when you do that, you become the channel. Yeah. And the entire existence, the big kahuna begins to operate through you. Because yeah. existence, God it is really this energy is looking for an empty vessel is wants to go through those who are empty those who are present they're here they they're not operating from having an agenda and all of all of a sudden it comes through mm -hmm. yeah i experienced through. this and I, on, on Sunday, I went to a girlfriend and there was like a doctor from a big hospital in Frankfurt and he's really very famous. He's doing all this stomach and uh, uh, gut uh, uh, surgery and he was mm -hmm. having such a back, uh, back pain and I mm -hmm. sent him healing and he was so like, oh my God, it, I feel it, it is working and uh, yeah, it was also quite a little bit challenging for me but i yeah i did it <laughs> beautiful yeah yeah i mean it's a blessing because most most medical professionals they don't believe in healing work so or at least if they're coming from that school of thoughts you know that uh Things only work with pills or surgery or therapy, and you can't do energy healing. But he didn't believe at all, but my, my girlfriend, she told him, oh, Susanne, she just came from Sweden. He did, uh, she did uh, a teaching there, and then he only looked into my eyes, and like a few seconds, our eyes were very close, and then he said, okay let's try it it was really uh, uh, yeah it was really right. yeah <laughs> because what happened is he looked into your eyes and you were empty yes and he recognized himself because it's the same self it's the same mm -hmm. oneness that's in the both persons so mm -hmm. he recognized the truth he recognized that it's real you don't have an agenda. You're not trying to prove anything. You're simply present out of love. Your heart's open. So he recognized the love. Yeah, and he saw the love. Exactly. He, yeah, he recognized the love and he just surrendered to it. And what yeah. happened is the love get, healed him. So, yeah, it was really amazing. It, um, yeah, it's difficult for me to explain it, but this were like a few seconds when his skeptical um, or his skepsis mind. was gone yeah mine was mind was gone right yeah. right and that's a great teaching for him too because um, he got exposed to something beyond his training and his conditioning that something else does exist beyond logic absolutely yeah it was a big a big training a big experience and he was so confused because i could see that at first he saw the woman in me you know he was a little bit confused uh, i i don't know how to say it but then he saw the the love which comes not from the woman it, it comes from nothing or i don't know what from from the stillness you know i'm so happy to hear that <laughs> <laughs> well done <laughs> yeah so i will keep you posted <laughs> yes please do i'm interested i will yeah, yeah. all right <laughs> good it would be lovely if one day the the um uh, the medical world would merge in with a uh, healing world and uh, the two work hand in hand and uh, 
we could do wonders then. Mm -hmm. Because both of them uh, are working in their own way. And once they merge in together, the power of healing will increase even in, in, in that fashion. It will be even better. Like if somebody needs a surgery or whatever, and then you can do healing on them afterwards for them to recover. Or before they get it, go into the surgery, you can do a healing on them so they can really relax and uh, be receptive. So there's a lot that could be... Um, explore in that world once the two merge in together and they they um um recognize one another it would be perfect yeah so, so maybe it's a start in french maybe it's i don't know yeah, yeah we will see <laughs> right we're we're here we're available we're not we're not we're we're doing our work our work is to be present here and now without any agendas. And then we'll see what comes and what wants to be born out of this moment. That's mm -hmm. the most important thing. Okay, all right, Miss Shishi, you have anything to say, my dear? Well, yeah, there's, there's a question from El Hez. Did you wanna speak with them? Okay. So I'm unmuting this person, but can't, you know, hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Hi. Thank you so much. Um, I have a question. Um, I, I really enjoyed uh, your program and especially last time the uh, energy. Uh, uh, now, uh, my question, or uh, if you can help me, uh, there is a grief or something uh, which. Uh, prevents me from uh, uh, freedom and happiness. Okay. Uh, if you can feel or give me feedback or if you can help me with that. Okay. So, and you've been having this grief, you've been experiencing it for how long? This is about... Uh, uh, it is about maybe more than 12 years. A lot of things happen, like uh, black magics, a lot of those kind of things, which I worked on them a lot. Uh, I worked a lot. Thanks God I'm alive. Uh, okay. And now I'm in the highest, but I'm still not who I was before. Okay. So... Um let me ask you this. You're able to see, you're aware of a grief that is hovering around you, correct? You're no. aware. You mean family, where I live? No, no. I'm talking about you. Um, I'm just going based on what you told me. You, you said there is a grief. You feel, you feel grief, correct? Maybe it's grief or fear, anger. Okay. So is it here now? Are you seeing it? Are you feeling it in this moment? Uh, when I put my focus, yes. Okay. And uh, so I want you to take a look at it right now and see what happens. I want you to just be present. And do, do this thing. Uh, you want to open your eyes and, and uh, look at me for a moment? Yeah, you see me? Okay. What I would like you to do, uh, Shishi, can you un uh, unmute everybody? There is some noise coming and then we'll... <coughs> yeah. Okay. So what I would like you to do is... You're simply, right now, I want you to bring your attention to this moment here, to your heart. Bring your attention, come here in this moment. And be present. And kind of detach yourself from previous thoughts, whatever is the story, okay? And 
Detach yourself from every, any future moments. So I want you to be here in this moment right now, present with me. Okay? Can you do that? Hello? Yes. Yeah? Okay. So you're here right now with me in this moment. In this moment, I'm not talking about previous moments. I'm not talking about the past 12 years, okay? I'm talking about right now. So I would like you to look at this moment, in this very moment. Is there anything going on? Is there any grief right now in this moment? No. What did you no. say? No. Is there any fear right now in this moment? No. No. Okay. So I would like you to stay here in this moment. I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty for unconditional love. Thank you. So. <laughs> So right now, right now, okay, stay with me. Don't go away, please. Right now, I'd like you to just check in. What is going on right now? Are you asking me? Yeah. I remember. I mean, you remember I mean, what's that? I'm remembering my master who, who left. Okay. So, okay. So in this moment, you're remembering your teacher, right? Yeah. Which was unconditional love. I understand. Okay. Who's your teacher? Master Chua. Okay. All right. So come back here in this moment. I want you to come out of the memory and come here in this moment. Come outside. You you went into the past, honey. You went into the past. Come back here again in this moment. Okay, just stay with me here. What's happening here right now? Uh. Um, I'm trying to bring the unconditional love. No, 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 no. Hold on a second, honey. You're, you're not listening to me. Uh, don't try anything. I Don't bring any story from anywhere because you are unconditional love. You don't need to bring it from anywhere because it's not anywhere. It's here. Yeah. So I want you to just simply be here with me right now and 
When your mind wants to go in the past to your guru to the past days, I want you to refuse going anywhere. Just stay here in this moment right now with me. Don't go anywhere. Don't go into any story. Let's explore what is here right now. So take a deep breath and just relax into here. Okay, in this moment, just relax into it. Okay, now what's happening right now? In this moment, right now. Is it quiet? Is it busy? Is there pain? It is quiet, but there is pain. Okay, you feel quiet inside. Yeah. Okay, and the pain, is it physical or it's emotional? Emotional. Okay, can you see it? Can you, you notice it? I can feel it. You can feel it, right? Okay, where is it? It, you is, know where it is on the chest area. Okay. All right, so take a deep breath. Okay. And <coughs> relax in this moment. And I want you to relax into feeling the pain. Feel the pain. And just for a few seconds, relax into the pain. Relax into the pain. Feel the pain. Don't force it. Don't try to get, get out of it. Just relax into feeling the pain. Nice. Good job. Uh, how do you feel now? Yeah. It is very deep. Yeah, just stay there. Stay there in silence. Just stay in this deep, quiet place. And after we finish the academy, I would like you to just stay there and don't go anywhere in any of your stories. Just stay in this moment here and let this do its magic. And we'll talk about it. We'll go deeper into this next week. So, um, Ms. Shishi, I think uh, next week I leave to Sedona, Arizona on Wednesday. So it's best if we do the Academy on Tuesday. Okay. So we can do the Academy on July 30th. Okay. Same time. Um, it's nice to have you all. I appreciate you joining me. I look forward to seeing you. So our next academy is going to be on uh, Tuesday, July 30th, uh, same time. And in the meantime, if you have any questions, you're welcome to write it to, to us, either on the academy page on Facebook or email it to me. Uh, at the moment, I don't have any other future events, um, but um, just keep in touch and uh, ch get, check out my website, zaratustra.tv, and if there's any coming events, well, we will post them. Send you lots of love and light. Uh, did you say something? I'm sorry, honey. I just wanted to ask Anita to send us her email so we can text her or send her Suzanne's number. Okay. The info at 50 healing here. Let's she's trying. Hi. Are you on Facebook? Are we Facebook yes. friends? Yes. I will look, uh, I will search her in Facebook and I'll write to her. I took the okay. name already. Okay. We'll, we'll connect <laughs> you two together. Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. Okay, dokie. All right.